All right, so I woke up this morning on vacation with my family. And uh, man, I was just feeling some type of way. I couldn't really explain it. So I figured I'd come out here to the beach, grab my camera and talk to y'all real quick. Shit's just, just fucking crazy, man. I, I don't know, I've been thinking a lot lately about how far I've come, where I still want to go and the things that I've been able to do. And it's just, it's fucking crazy to me coming from where I come from, being able to do the shit that I've done. Like I always wanted to do it and I always knew I could, but actually looking back and seeing the progress, seeing the accomplishments and seeing the things that I'm able to do just for some reason today really, really fucking tripped me out, man. It's life's a trip, bro. It, it's, it's fucking crazy. Like I said, I, I woke up, I'm in fucking LA. I got my family around me and we're out here on fucking vacation. And life's just beautiful right now. So I wanted to capture it to remind myself when shit goes sideways, it doesn't stay like that forever. You know, whenever you get what you want, it's never as good as you think it is. And whenever you're in a shitty situation, it's not as bad as you think it is. You just gotta keep pushing forward. I mean, look at this shit. This is fucking beautiful. People didn't believe that I could do it. You know, when I first got started, people were like, you wanna fucking rap? That's fucking stupid, bro. What the fuck? Go do some other shit. You're from New Mexico? There ain't no fucking rappers from New Mexico. Wanna fucking rap? That's fucking stupid, bro. If I would've listened to that shit, where the fuck would that have took me now? Instead, I kept pushing forward like I knew I could. I just kept getting better at my craft. And along the way, I started picking up the most motherfucking loyal fan base, supporters shit, fuck that, family that I could've ever dreamed of. I just... I can't believe I'm able to be here right now in the position that I am from where I started to now. And I still feel like we're just getting fucking started. I'm just warming up, you feel me? Like, I always knew I could do it. I guess you just, you get caught up in life and moving forward that sometimes you forget to look at how far you've actually come, you know? They always say it's it's the journey, not the destination. And that shit's true, you know, because once you get there, it's like, OK, this is dope, but I want to keep going. I, I got more that I want to do. So it's got to be the journey, right? I guess it's it's still just crazy to me that I seen this when I was younger and I've been able to manifest it by hard work and determination. And I guess I just feel like super grateful right now because between me and my girl, we're able to provide a life for my kids that I could only fucking dream of. You feel me? My moms and pops, they, they did everything that they could for us. I'm not, you know, talking shit about them. It's just the situation we was in, we didn't have a lot of money, you know? I, I really, when I say I came from the bottom, like that shit's no joke. It's how I was raised and it was, it was where I came from. And I represent that and I feel like most people relate to that and that's why y'all fuck with me like you guys do because I don't sugarcoat shit you know what I mean I say it how it is how I feel it should be and how it is for me good or bad I tell y'all what's on my mind I really feel like that's why y'all relate to it I ain't slowing down I ain't stopping anytime soon I'm still the same old motherfucker that I always been. We finally hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is fucking dope to me. And I know to a lot of y'all, you're like, oh, thousand subscribers. Oh, fuck, dog. That's fucking sick. Who gives a fuck? Well, yeah, you know, that might be true. Who gives a fuck? I do. Because I'd rather have a thousand real supporters than a million fake ass motherfuckers that follow what I do just to see me fail or to laugh when something goes wrong. You feel me? The people that fuck with me, fuck with me for real because I fuck with them for real. I don't care how small the numbers are. If the support is real, that's all that matters. Being here on vacation with my family, I guess is kind of putting into perspective how far I've come, you know, from running around the Arroyo in San Fidel you know, scaring my brothers and sisters about the Yorona lady to driving up and down 1st and 2nd Street 
and Grants throwing holdazos in the Alco parking lot to uh, strolling around Coronado Mall looking for bitches, thinking that we were all badder than fuck, to uh, where I am now, you know? Like, people always ask me why I don't represent just one part of New Mexico. And that's exactly why, because I was born in Albuquerque. I was raised in San Fidel and Grants. Um, we went to Albuquerque at least every other weekend. So I just felt like it wasn't right for me to only represent one part of my state. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm the voice of New Mexico, not just one city or one town, because we all go through the same fucking crazy struggles out here in this southwestern region of the United States. You feel me? So I wanted to encompass that and show you guys what it's like. Not in a filtered way, neither. Like, for real, you know? So that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to continue to do, regardless of how people feel about me or my music or the movement that we've created. You know, I got my merciless outlaws and they're going to rock with me till the wheels fucking fall off. And I'm going to do the same for them. I just wanted to let y'all know that I appreciate every single one of y'all. And I know rappers say that all the time. Oh, I appreciate you guys, every single one of you guys. And if it wasn't for you guys and blah, 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 blah. And you know. I feel like a lot of them don't, or all of them do. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Blah, 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 blah. One thing I do know for sure is that I do. I appreciate every single person that has ever bought a t-shirt, has ever went to a fucking concert, has ever purchased any of my music, watched any of my fucking videos, shared any of my fucking videos. I appreciate y'all, for real. If it wasn't for... You guys, no one would even know who the fuck I am. And I know we ain't got a million subscribers and fucking 10 billion followers and shit, but the people that do fuck with what I'm doing really fuck with it. I guess with all that being said, I am in California, Los Angeles in particular, and parking over here is a fucking nightmare and super expensive. So I'm gonna put the camera down, go make sure they didn't leave no tickets on my fucking whip, and uh, finish up these last couple of days here. I am Johnny James, Merciless Music, peace.